Greetings Saints, Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. Before we get started, if you need a Bible, don't have access to one, can't afford one, we can help. Email us and say, I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and we'll send you our free Bible, free shipping anywhere on earth just for you. And folks, if you love watching videos dealing with dreams and visions about the upcoming rapture resurrection event and the seven year tribulation and the return of Jesus Christ and all that stuff, this is a channel for you. We are always sharing the dreams and visions of our subscribers here, sometimes once in a great while on my own. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. Folks, today I wanna to share some dreams about the rapture that some of our subscribers have shared with us. They posted them at our website, that's edvforme.org. This first one here is from Lori. Lori goes on to say here, here is my dream, an intimate occurrence about to happen. I was looking down on my abdomen. I could tell a fully formed baby was inside of me. I was pondering with the Lord what was happening. He told me the baby was about to turn his head downward, preparing to be born. The baby was halfway there, head to the left, and the butt to the right. I saw him turn head down. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Great dream here. Thank you so much for sharing it, Lori. Now, the first thing I'm thinking about here when this child is being born, she looks down and sees the baby is in her abdomen, turning, and that means the baby is about to be born. Uh, that reminds me, of course, of the Revelation 12 sign where it says, Revelation 12, verse 5, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. This here is a representation of the body of Christ, who are we, the church. We are taken up into heaven at this point. Then the seven-year tribulation begins. We talked about this on Uptimes past week. You know, the Bible says in Revelation 5, 9, that there is a multitude before Christ saying you have redeemed us from the earth. Okay? And this happens before Jesus begins opening the seals. Because there was a dilemma when John went up into heaven in his vision. He saw the dilemma where nobody in heaven on earth or earth below was able to open the seals. Okay? Nobody was able to do it. But the elder came and told him, hey, the line of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, he is able to open those seals. Okay, so basically what we're seeing here is a multitude in heaven that nobody can number that have been redeemed from the earth. And our apostle Paul tells us in uh, Ephesians 4.30, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, which you have been sealed unto the day of redemption. Redemption, redeemed, all of us are about to go into redemption, rapture, resurrection, okay? We are redeemed at this point, stand before the throne of God in heaven, Jesus Christ. That is all of us up there before the seals are open. And the seals, my friends, are what narrates the seven year tribulation. No seals opening, no tribulation, period, okay? The seals, the seven seals and what's contained within them is what happens on the earth and throughout the second and third heavens to change everything, to give it to Jesus Christ, the kingdoms of heaven, the second heavens and the earth. This is a transfer of that authority, that kingship to Jesus during this time when he opens those seals. Okay, he's still a high priest in heaven. He's not a king yet. Yes, he's 
in the future the king of kings, but he's still a high priest up there intercessing for our sins. Okay, so the tribulation has not started yet, and the rapture resurrection happens before the tribulation begins. Because what happens is we go up to heaven, and we are Jesus' body, his governing body that governs the third second heavens and the earth okay we are one with jesus christ okay we are governing all this now all right so wouldn't it make sense that the governing body would be standing before jesus's throne the complete governing body before his throne the body and the head complete before his throne when he opens those seals the bible says in hebrews 12:22 but ye are come unto Mount Sion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, up in heaven, this is us, the body of Christ, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, man, child, firstborn, okay, we are born again, body of Christ, rapture, resurrection, firstborn, okay, all of us get a new body on the same day, a corporate birthday, the rapture, resurrection, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. What happens after the rapture, resurrection? You have a multitude of people who have been made perfect. So here we are in the book of Hebrews, where they're talking about, hey, up in heaven, this is what's going on. And what's going on right now at this point, right at the beginning of the tribulation, is the body of Christ is standing before God's throne, which is also outlined in Revelation 5, 9, like I just told you. So that shows you once again that the rapture resurrection is pre-tribulation, okay? If you go through the Bible, the Bible doesn't say, hey, the rapture resurrection, the Nechatef in Hebrew, or whichever name they're going to use, Harpazo in the Greek, okay? They're not going to lay it out perfectly that, hey, this takes place before Daniel's 70th week. It's not written in there. It's actually hidden in there. You have to find it. That's why it says in Proverbs 25, verse 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Okay, we are heavenly royalty and we are searching out the matter of the tribulation and our departure beforehand. Look, God knew there was going to be this discrepancy between the saints who are saved today and the tribulation saints that are killed during the seven year tribulation. Okay, he knew that there was going to be a divide between these people because these people are two different sets of people. Okay, for a reason, all right? And I'm not gonna get into all that right now, all right? But the fact that we are at this interchange now, this is why there's so much confusion. People are arguing right now. People say, oh, we have to go through the tribulation. We gotta, we gotta shed our blood and pay the price and get our butts kicked. That way God will accept us into heaven. Okay, there are people out there that believe that, all right? I'm saved from the wrath of God because of what Jesus did, not from what I did okay so if you're trusting in your works to get into heaven so God could pat you on the back yeah you know about Jesus and you look at him yeah you say he's great but you don't trust in his blood to deliver you now I'm not saying we're gonna have tribulations during this time Apostle Paul said that we will go through tribulations troubles persecutions and stuff like that and dying and martyrdom okay that's happening already it's been happening for 2,000 years okay but for you to say that you have to go into Daniel's 70th week and get your butt kicked specifically by the Antichrist and his army so that that way you can qualify to go to heaven, you're going to hell. When you die, you're going to end up going down towards the heat, the hot zone, instead of going up. And you're going to be surprised as crap when that happens to you that day because you do not trust in the blood of Jesus fully. Okay, You have to fully trust in that blood. Okay, you can't sidestep the fire or walk around it. You got to get into it. All right? So, fully trust in the blood of Jesus Christ to save you. All right? Don't worry about what happens here, how you're going to die, or if you're going in the rapture. Just fully trust in that blood atonement to wipe all your sins away and clean you and to give you a rebirth in your spirit.
okay? Trust in that, all right? Don't trust in your works at all because they're not gonna do anything for you except give you some rewards in heaven, but in order to get to heaven, you need the ticket. How do you get the ticket to go to heaven? Trust in the finished works of Jesus Christ, 1 Corinthians 15, one through four, all right? Jesus shed his blood for our sins, the atonement of our sins. The only way our sins can be forgiven, like the book of Hebrews says, that there is no remission of sins unless there is bloodshed. Now, one thing I do want to mention is, she says that the baby was fully formed inside of me, okay? Inside of me. Now, that represents what's going to happen with the Revelation 12 sound, like I explained. But let me also explain this to you. What has happened to you the moment you believe and trust in the works of Jesus Christ for your salvation? When you truly became born again, what happened? God rebirthed your spirit inside of you. It brought your spirit to life. Your spirit was dead. Apostle Paul said we are spiritually dead before Christ in our trespasses and sin. But when we believe in Jesus to save us, our spirit is brought back to life and sealed, completed, done. So here's how it works. Their body is still here, whether it's in the ground, in the coffin, or spread out everywhere, ashes and stuff, doesn't matter. Their spirit was complete with God, rebirthed and sealed, done. So when their vessel died, the spirit returned to God, all right? But the day is coming when the rapture resurrection is going to take place at the sound of that trumpet. And what's going to happen is they will return to receive a reformed new body of theirs that will be, I don't know how God's going to do it. Apostle Paul says the mystery. Behold, I'll show you a mystery. So I don't know how that's going to work. God will take a speck of your DNA or your body wherever it's lying at, and he could just rebuild the body. Okay, we get it. But what's interesting, though, is for us who are living our vessel has not died so what's going to happen is the holy spirit that is within us is basically a spiritual bomb that's going to go off and the remote detonator is that trumpet sound in heaven that goes off the rapture resurrection when that trumpet goes off it remote detonates this spiritual bomb of the holy spirit inside of us and it just <laughs> comes out and it overtakes our body and rebirths our body from the inside out and that's outlined in Romans 8, 10, and 11. And if Christ be in you, the Holy Spirit, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness, because of the Holy Spirit indwelling within us, who is of God. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell within you, that spiritual bomb I told you about that's in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth within you. So what that means is the Holy Spirit that dwells within you shall change your body from the inside out. So you're going to feel it starting on the inside and things get really good here and it just spreads all out to the outer parts of your skin and you change. Okay, so that is basically my take on what happens at the rapture resurrection for the living. Okay, so awesome dream there. Thank you so much for sharing it, Lori. Greetings, my family. We are all really excited because things are wrapping up right now. As you can see, the rapture resurrection is about to take place. We are about to leave this world behind and everything in it as it gets burnt to a complete crisp and is no longer useful to us. But for now, it is. What I'm talking about is resources God has provided to us. For me, my family, you and your family to live here while we are on the earth, but also additional resources that we can use to invest back into his kingdom to expand our eternal rewards in heaven. We are all given that chance to be the faithful servant as Jesus talked about in his parables, whether you have one talent, two talents, or five talents given to you. Jesus did not give us that parable to be entertaining. He was trying to make a point. And when you invest these resources into his kingdom, that takes faith. And wherever your faith is at, Jesus said in Luke 6, 38, 
give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. So now you have extra resources, but where do you invest these resources? And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of brick and mortar out there for you to invest in. But like I said, that will all be destroyed in the coming tribulation. So what will survive the tribulation and count as massive rewards for you? Building the body of Christ. For the last 10 years, we have been raising funds and funding Christian missions all throughout the world. We've been providing humanitarian relief aid to new believers in hard to reach areas, jungle areas, third world countries, areas that people have just written off and forgotten about, not us. We are reaching these areas, providing the help that these people need, and then after showing them the love of Jesus Christ, through the aid we provided them, we will show them the love of Jesus that he did specifically for them at the cross through the preaching of the gospel of grace, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. We're not building with wood, hay, and stubble like others are with their gigantic sized temple worship centers that will be burned up in the tribulation anyways. No, we are building with precious stones, silver, and gold that will be tried by the fire and that will last and will not be consumed. Because here, we are adding hundreds and thousands of people on a daily basis to the body of Christ. Buildings are not eternal, that's wood, hay, and stubble, but spirits are. Gold, silver, precious stones. So if you feel that tug right now to make a difference, please don't ignore it. Just go to our website, feedmysheeptoday.org. There you can give by PayPal, credit card, bank draft, or just simply send your gift in the mail. The address will be there as well. And if you want to make your gift go farther, become an easy feed monthly sustainer. We greatly need more people to join our monthly sustainer family. Look, if we know how much is coming in the next month, this gives us the ability to leverage what we have this month to buy the supplies that we need for next month. Because sometimes we have to order stuff this month and wait for it to arrive the following month. And I think you all understand why that is because of the pandemic and stuff like that. So we greatly need monthly sustainers. So please just consider maybe just $10 a month. If you could do more, praise the Lord. But we're happy to get that $10 because every little bit counts here, everybody. So great in heaven will your rewards be from the work that's achieved here. I promise you that. May God bless you all and thank you so much for your support. Thank you everybody so, so much for your much needed ongoing support. Folks, we are almost done. We are about to go home and we can see it happening right now. There are so many people coming to the Lord right now. So many places reaching out to us, hoping that we can reach them with Bibles and preaching and humanitarian relief aid. There is such a huge call. So if our Heavenly Father is reaching out to you at all, if you feel that pull in your spirit at all, please don't ignore it. Just go to him in prayer, see what he wants you to do, and go from there. The giving link is in the description box below. Thank you so much for your much, much needed ongoing support. Now, I have one more dream I want to share with you guys. This is from Danielle. Now, Danielle has labeled this dream uptime with a question mark. She goes, so this dream was short because my kid woke me up. I received a package I ordered and along with it came a package I did not order. The package I did not order was clothing and new clothes were white, made of silk. They were in garment bags and the brand was up with an arrow pointing up. The logo looked similar to the Uptime Community logo and it had clouds all over the bag. The sizes were wrong for me though there was an outfit for my son and mine was small. I am not a small size, laugh out loud, new bodies perhaps. Anyways, I woke up after that, but I was excited and had to share right away. So great dream, Danielle. So what's this basically talking about here? Well, that goes to show you that uptime, our broadcast, I told Greg, it's Greg's broadcast actually, 
And I told Greg, you know what? This uptime broadcast is of God. It's such a blessing to so many people. Thousands and thousands upon thousands and thousands of people are blessed by uptime and all the work that's being done there. And what's amazing is uptime started right at the time of COVID. Okay, so when the enemy begins to wrap up his attack, God ramped up his counterattack, and one of the ways he did it was with the birth of uptime. And we've been going head to head with everything that's been going on here for the last two to three years. All right, now she goes on to say here that the uptime logo was on it, there are clouds all over the bag, which means this content is ready to go up. What's contained in this content is not meant for the earth, it's meant for the clouds, it's meant for the heavens. And she saw the size of the outfits in here, and she said that one size was good for her son, but the other size was too small for her because she was a bigger person. Let me explain something to you, Danielle. When we are born again, none of us are going to be fat. We are all going to be pretty much 0% body fat for the most part, okay? We are all going to be thin and beautiful. When was the last time you saw an overweight angel? Okay, it doesn't happen. Let me tell you something about here in the natural realm. Fat represents sin. When the Jews cook their bread, they cook it with yeast, except on the Feast of the Loving Bread where they cook it without yeast. They cook it without sin. That yeast causes that bread to fatten up, get big, okay? And look, I have fat, we all have fat, we all have that sense. Representation here in the natural realm, all right? But be it as it may, fat represents sin, all right? And when we are born again, we are sinless. Guess what? No fat. I don't care if you weigh 500 pounds, any of you out there, you are going to be perfect. More perfect than any human on earth has ever been. So how many people out there can give me an amen to that? Because I know I'm giving an amen, all right? So praise God for that. That's why that size of that garment was not made for you, Danielle. It's ready for your glorified body, okay? So you gotta get excited about that. So everybody, please comment. Let us know what you guys think about these dreams. And please hit that like button on the way out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. May God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen, amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to, or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message forum on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up, check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now, go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time, get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device. And friends, don't forget to request your free After the Rapture Survival Info Flash Drive today. Free flash drive, free shipping, our gift to you. On this flash drive, there are seven gigabytes of information that will be very helpful to all your friends and family who will be left behind, starting with the King James Bible, Children's Bible, plus 80 Bibles in other languages that are the most common after English. On this flash drive are also ebooks, letters, sermons, videos, news articles, articles written by believers explaining why mass amounts of people have disappeared and what's next, and much, much more. 
There's even a section called ABC Salvation, which is a quick introduction that people can read where they can quickly learn about who Jesus Christ really is and a condensed version of the good news of the gospel that was achieved by his finished works at the cross and how they can be saved through him and him alone. These letters are also provided in 80 different languages most popular after English. All this and much more is available on this flash drive that we could send to you for free. Just email us your request and that information is in the description box below or just go to our website edvforme.org and download the entire thing for free. They are separated into four easy downloadable folders you can download and save to any device. Copy and paste this information to your friends and family's computers and devices. Put them on other flash drives and hand them out. This is an excellent way to get the information out to everybody we know so that way they are prepared if they are left behind. Information about this is all in the description box below.